Bonjour! My name is Abomination, and welcome back to the YCL. This is week four. We did not have a week three because we got a forfeit victory. But this week's against King Sosa, and uh, they have a sand team, which I'm actually very surprised they brought. I didn't think Excadrill was going to show up at all, so it has something to do against um, Corviknight. But Corviknight is still, you know, extremely good against it. And then Hysterion Electrode is here, as well as Iron Valiant and Mew. But this is uh, fine. I think I'm just going to lead with Entei. I don't... Actually... I'm going to lead with Gudra because... No, I... My plan was to lead Entei. I could see... Yeah, no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with it. Because if I see a Tyranitar lead, I'm just going to want to Iron Hit it. Because uh, it's probably just going to go for Stealth Rock. And if it doesn't, and we don't get the flinch and it kills me, then, then it is what it is. <clears throat> but no Swalot either, actually. I'm very surprised. Okay, so they lead Mew. Uh, this is fine. It shouldn't be able... It shouldn't kill us instantly. And we'll find out whether or not it's really fast. We just go for Sacred Fire, I think. Uh, Tyranitar could come in and take it, but... I'm just gonna go for Sacred Fire. I think that's fine. Mew is going to set up spikes. This is fine, because... You know, Terrapagos can deal with this. So, it's a <coughs> Sacred Fire! I appreciate that damage. I think that's fine. A synchronized doesn't do anything to me. It's going to be leftovers. But the hazard stacking doesn't bother me. We got heavy duty boots on Terrapagos. Do we want to go into it now? No, you know what? I'm just going to... It's faster than me. I just want to keep... Make that, keep I just want to point that out. <clears throat> no, I'm just going to take the fire again. This thing can't heal, it's out of rest, and uh, it's burned now. They're going to switch to Tyranitar, probably. Here comes the yeah, Tyranitar. Can we go two for two on burns? I'd rather get the burn on this than on Mew, but we got it on Mew, so it makes sense if we don't get it on this, but... <laughs> no, we don't. But that's, you know what? I think that's fine. That did decent damage though, I just want to iron head this thing. I'm going to. I... I'm just going to iron head. I'm predicting some kind of status. Which would be either Dragon Dance or Stealth Rock. You could just attack this straight up, sure. And honestly, I'm fine if he does. Good damage to the Tyranitar. Knockoff is also fine. My expert belt is gone, and Sandstorm Chip is there. So now another Iron Head will not take him out, but it will put this thing extremely low. <clears throat> I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna Iron Head. <clears throat> you might want to switch out after seeing, you know, that was good damage. But that was with expert belt, so we will not kill them, but two of them will. Yep, they're gonna save Tyrannus, that makes sense to me. Houndstone doesn't want to take his sacred fire afterwards. Assuming it's it's not gonna be fluffy, actually, right? Yeah it is. Yeah, it's fluffy. Hmm. But Shadow Sneak. Yeah, it's fluffy. That confirms it right there. Shadow Sneak might be a problem. We're gonna see if it has Shadow Sneak by going into into Terrapagos. They didn't bring Ogre Pond, actually, so you know what? Oibeza here is also a fine option. 
we're very physically offensive. Uh, we're gonna save Entei anyway. That's but that was good. That was a beautiful start. Burning Mew. Lots of damage on Tyranitar. I think that's a pretty good start. Spikes. Body press is not gonna do that much to us. So we could have hit this thing with with a uh, Sacred Fire, because that would have done great damage. That would be super effective, and Sacred Fire does not make contact. So that would be a lot of damage on that thing. Um, I don't assume, I do not think they go into Electrode here, so I kind of just want to Giga Drain. There's no Moltres. I thought Moltres was coming 100%. Do I Giga Drain? This thing could have Ice Fang for me. I'm just going to Giga Drain. Or I predict a potential Ice Fang and switch out. No, we're gonna Giga Drain. I'm not gonna predict Ice Fang. There's gonna be Poltergeist though. Doesn't hurt that bad. Giga Drain does good damage. I'm assuming that's gonna heal the damage we just took. Not quite, but it healed a lot of it. We're not gonna do the same thing. We're gonna Fickle Beam this time. I don't think Iron Valiant comes in. I like Fickle Beam as a play. It will kill this thing, but Giga Drain will get his health back. Do I assume they're gonna save this? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna Fickle Beam. It pains play. So. It does a little bit of damage to us. But Fickle Beam might just... Not quite. Sandstorm will kill this thing, though. Yeah, so Houndstone's gone, which means we can Rapid Spin freely whenever... Whenever, um... Our main dude comes in, Terrapagos. I say our main dude, I guess he's the captain. Here comes Iron Valiant now. Are we gonna see Booster Energy? No, we're not. I'm just going to go straight to Senchacinta, our Sylveon. I think that's... there's nothing I'm afraid of, except a poison jab, potentially. And this is Extended Sandstorm. Moonblast! Nope, okay. That's good damage. That's like, no, like, it's not good enough. I mean, Sandstorm's still here. This is so extended Sandstorm. Just to confirm. Yeah, last turn of Sandstorm right here. We're going to wish. Right. Finally, by the way, this is our third match. It's week four, but it's our third game that we played. And we brought Sylveon to all four of them. I did make a team for week three. We brought it all four, and finally it's on the field. It's the first time it's on the field. Sencha Sinka. Which is a great name, sounds really cool, and I forget what it means. I think it means tank ribbon. I think it literally means tank ribbon in two different languages. That makes sense to me. Them switching. Mew, the Pokemon fan. Um, that means we're just gonna attack this thing straight up and then get our wish back. Cause I'm assuming they just, you know, they're just gonna get some more hazards on us. <clears throat> and they can't hurt us with physical stuff because it's burned and special stuff. We are fine. I'm fine with. So Hyper Voice, and then next turn we'll switch out into Terrapagos, I think. I, there's no way I believe this thing can kill us. It could Toxic. Wait, Toxic's not a TM. Is it? It's either Toxic is not a TM, or just a lot of things just don't hurt anymore. 
Taunt? That's fine, we just got a hyper voice. <clears throat> Lots of damage to me right there. And we're full health. So that was a beautiful exchange. We're gonna go into into Terrapagos here. Assuming that they just set up another hazard, right? That's a, that's 100% what I assume. No, they switched the hard switch into the electrode. Okay. So we're probably going to get a Volt Switch here, on their side. We have Body Press, uh, but we're going to Rapid Spin, right? 100%. If this thing's a Ghost, Terra, then just nice work on their part. This is their Terra Captain. This is their only, only Terra Captain. We did not bring any of ours. But they know we're heavy-duty boots now. So that means we're going to keep our shell intact. Yeah, there's a Volt Switch. <clears throat> so that's not going to do much damage, but that is going to destroy our Terra Shell. Uh, Rapid Spin should 100% be coming off here. Here comes Tyranitar. Sandstorm. So we do have body press. Uh, spikes are gone. We're gonna be hurt by a sandstorm. Uh. Now, my question is, how much speed did we put on me? A lot. 118. So at plus one, I'm gonna say we outspeed Iron Valiant. I think I confirmed that, but we're not gonna outspeed the Electro. Or Excadrill in the Sandstorm. But we do have Body Press, we're gonna use it. <laughs> Tropicos is really good. I really like Tropicos. I don't care what I, if they switch out, that's fine. Um. Yeah, if they switch out, I think that's fine. Iron Valley can tank the hit, but it's not going to tank a Terra Star Storm afterwards. Excadrill can tank the hit, we're... Okay, so Tarantar is going to die to a Body Press. Which is wonderful news. We're at plus one. Excadrill can come in here, right? Uh, if it's like weakness policy plus swords dance... <clears throat> trying to think of all the potential catastrophes here. Iron Valiant comes out instead of Excadrill. So, they're confident that they're going to be faster than us. Why is that? Am I confident that it's going to be faster than me? We could just go straight into Sencha Sinta again. I think that's fine. Uh, sandstorm turns are whittling away now, which is good. I'm just gonna go straight into Sensual Sink. It worked out night la last time. Uh, there's no reason for it to not work out this time. Except it baits in Excadrill. Hmm. I think we're gonna hard switch after this turn. Hmm, do we? We're at plus one speed, so I think they have close combat. They move last again. Cuckoo Clock, and then, um, the only problem is that it just so baits in the Excadrill right now. Assuming they're going to be locked into that move or something, I might just go straight Chevalier. Because it's either the Poison Jab or they're locked in, right? I don't think this Specs damage, it just seems so 
not specs damage. We're gonna go straight to Chevalier though. So they are gonna switch out. I wanna see Excadrill here. No, it's gonna be Mew again. Okay. So they might have been trying to sack Mew there, but I'm trying to burn Sandstorm turns here to, to make sure Excadrill doesn't have a Sandstorm when it comes in. I'm not gonna let this. I'm not gonna take damage on this though. I don't. It doesn't matter to me what this Mew is planning. I'm just not gonna let this take damage. So I'm just gonna go into, back into Tropicos. Gudra can handle the Hisuian Electrode. I don't need to use Gudra for anything else until Electrode is the last thing remaining. Oh, 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 gravity, okay. That's why Electrode is here. That's that's really cool. Or not Electrode, Excadrill. That's pretty cool. But uh, I don't think it's going to matter. I'm hoping it doesn't matter. Because gravity, we still resist the earthquake with our Hydrapple, excuse me. How many more turns of Sandstorm? We got three more turns of Sandstorm. One of them is going to be spent with them taking a body press. After we get hit by a Psychic. Which does not hurt that much. So Mew's going to die to a body press. Now here comes Excadrill. It's got two turns. Uh, I think we're going to let Tropicos die to the Excadrill. Here comes Excadrill. Lovely shiny Excadrill. Now. It is, has the effect of gravity and there's two turns of sandstorm. So, we're going to body press with the first one. We're probably just going to, yeah, here's another quick that's going to kill us. But then we just go into Oibeza here instead of um, Corviknight. We should tank anything this thing wants to do. And uh, we're going to... Uh, we could yawn, actually. I don't mind the yawn play. If we flinch from a Iron Head that sucks, but it's the last turn of Sandstorm. They're going to switch Excadrill straight up into what? To Iron Valiant. It's gonna grow drowsy. Sandstorm's gonna go away. Now, what do they do? If they stay in and attack, do I believe that's gonna be ha gonna happen? Not really. If they do and kill us, then what happens? Then we still have Corviknight from the Excadrill. Uh, and assuming Electrode's not a problem because Gooja's here. So, assuming they're gonna switch out, we just fickle me. If they stay in, okay, they don't. <clears throat> Electrode comes in, it's not gonna like this fickle me. Can we go all out and one shot it? Yes, we do! <laughs> Electro dies. Nice work, my guys. That's it. Gravity returns to normal too. That was that was nice work. Iron Valiant should come back out, right? Yeah. Iron Valiant does indeed come back out. We're gonna go back to Senshacinta. Um, it's going to be close whether or not we can survive it. And if it, I don't think it's a setup set. Because it, it needed all the coverage for my like, entire team. It needed Thunderbolt, it needed Psychic. And last, 132 to 68. I think we live another one. I 
I'm gonna use Wish. If it has... Switching the Excadrill is not a problem. They do move last again. Ooh, we live on 8 health. I thought they were going to take us out, honestly. We're going to protect. Yeah, okay. They do predict the protect. Even though I haven't revealed it yet, and me personally, I don't really like to use protect like that. But this does mean the next time Iron Valley comes in, we are not going to be able to handle this thing. But this thing's outside of... Outside of uh, Sandstorm, so it can't be faster than Entei. And honestly, I'm just going to go Oibeza here because... It is just much better than Corviknight at this point. Against this Excadrill. Because it Excadrill can't really hurt us. Oh, nice work. They make a double. That was a very good double. That was a great double. I'm just gonna go off the assumption that that thing is choice. <laughs> do we switch dude right here? No, I'm not gonna do that. What I am gonna do, I'm gonna go Chevalier now. I'm gonna go Chevalier. Assuming that mm, they use Moonblast yet again. Yes, they do. It's not gonna hurt us. We're gonna body press. I think Chevalier might just handle the rest of this. Oh, they... Okay, no crit. I wanted to say this thing is choice, but it's not. What does that mean for me? That means I go to a beta and I just click... This thing's not hurt enough. Flamethrower? I think so, actually. Yeah, I'll go to a beta. Wait, do we have sledge? No. Even if we do have the poison move? Actually, yeah. The fact, we're just gonna sludge wave. If they come in with Excadrill, that's fine. Right? Right? Sense should seem to at any point can kill this thing. We're gonna sludge wave. God, I'm playing this end very poorly. I just said I wanted to say in, but now I don't. I, I'm questioning my choice. Change my mind. I'm gonna go back to Dragapult. We need to get a situation where... Iron Valiant is at least injured. That's all I needed to do, so I should have flamed forward, honestly. We're gonna switch out again. Uh, Gudra should tank a Moonblast from that thing. If it's not Specs, we should tank two of them, honestly. So I'm just not gonna take this damage here. Losing Corviknight was unfortunate. I thought we were going to handle that much better. I didn't really, it, I thought it was choice. So I'm thinking it might be Expert Belt. That seems to make sense to me. Expert Belt makes sense. Unless we're faster than this thing, this thing just stayed in. Ow, Iron Hand actually hurts. A lot. Rocky Helmet. No, wait a minute. Okay, no, we're still faster than T. We Giga Drain. Okay, that's fine. All we wanted was chip on this. Iron Valiant. How much chip are we getting right now? A lot. That's a lot. At this point... 
do we let this die? Or do we let Sensha seem to die instead? Hmm. This thing is four attacks extra belt. I'm pretty confident that. It's not in extreme speed range. But it is in flamethrower range from Tenet Beta. So I think we just sack Sylveon, Go Gudra, and Flamethrower. Rather Surf, because Surf is higher boost power. No, they're the same. I think we sack. So I just seen that unfortunately. I don't think I don't think she killed anything on like I said, but that's fine. Special attack dropping is actually kinda of horrible. They can't let me wish, right? What if I wish right now? Damn it, I I I this was not the choice. Because if they go extra drill right now. If they go extra drill right now and they let me wish, that doesn't mean that much to them. It means I have to go in you. Cause can I let them if they sword dance wrapped to me? If they go into this and Rapid spin me. If they go into this, okay, thank you. I, just, I didn't want to. That was kind of scary because I didn't want to. Deal with Excadrill. Um, I don't think it's Swords Dance that maybe. It might be. Back to Gudra. Same, so flamethrower is better. We honestly should easily tank Moonblast from this if it's even it's expert belt. So maybe we don't tank too, but it doesn't matter. This thing can't survive. <sighs> and if Excadrill is focus ashed, it doesn't matter because we broke it with a rocky helmet. Tenevator. At this point, I think I have them locked in because it doesn't matter what they do unless something wrong goes wrong, like if I flinch or something. But they're gonna go ahead and switch into Excadrill. Can you survive this Excadrill? Yes. Yes, you can. You don't survive anything that you do. At this point, we go into you if they switch to Iron Valiant, which I'm assuming I think they go, I think they doubled Iron Valiant. They die to an Iron Head. Ah, uh, Rocky Helmet. Then here comes this, Iron Valiant, right? This last thing that put in a lot of pressure here at the end. I think you're mine. Because we have ten of it, we have a lot to deal with deal with you. We're not gonna risk switching though, are we? No. Mm -hmm. No. They're just gonna kill us with a moon blast here. <gasps> Tenebeta and sludge wave this thing into oblivion. Sludge wave. Destroy Iron Valiant. Ugh. Yeah, we can't tank another one of those. Iron Valiant dies after serious pressure at the end. We're gonna win against King Sosa. 2-0 though. I say though. He brought it way closer with that Iron Valiant plus Excadrill. 
I just, I played it pretty poorly there at the end. <clears throat> but that's okay. Wow. Nice work. I, I thought Iron Violent couldn't be set up. I didn't think. Because I knew it needed to have Psychic to hit Toxapex. Needed to have Electric, Thunderbolt to hit Corviknight. And then uh, it needed, I thought it needed to run close combat to touch Gudra, but it didn't. And then Fairy Garbage. Let's go over these guys. Ah. This one was unfortunate. I thought he was choice locked in some way. For some reason, the way he was playing it. But I guess he wasn't. He was just an expert belt. So protective pads was so we can U-turn uh, on Moltres without being burned. We are <laughs> we are max attack adamant with a lot of HP and a little bit of speed actually, and some special defense. That speed means we uh, we speed creep with something with Houndstone. And Houndstone, being faster than Houndstone is valuable because we need Brave Bird damage, I guess. I'm sorry. This was a mistake, actually. I used to have Taunt on this set. That's why I have that speed, because Taunt would stop Houndstone from Will-O-Wisping, um, poor old Corviknight Chevalier, but Max Attack Adamant, because, you know what? Brave Bird is very good against their team. They don't have much that resists it. Um... And it does a lot of damage. We're obviously going to take a lot of recoil, but we do have Roost. So we're very offensive Corviknight with no setup. That's 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 very rare. I've never really... I've never seen that before. A Corviknight that's offensive that has no setup moves. Very... It was cool, but you know what? We died to a Thunderbolt. So if we were just the bulky one, we wouldn't have died to a Thunderbolt. I don't think. Because we don't have that much special defense. But he was confident. He stayed in, so... He must have been confident he could kill us with that move. Tropicals with the heavy duty boots. I really like Tropicals. Um, we are max special attack modest because that means Dark Pulse can two shot a max HP Houndstone. And Houndstone is bulky. I can't believe how bulky it is. It's very bulky, especially in Fluffy. Um, but Fluffy, it only works on contact moves and Sacred Fire does not make contact. So I was very surprised that he tried to body press Entei, because we were going to do a lot of damage to it. And if he burnt it, I don't think body press killed us. So that was that. Our body press on Tropagos takes out Tyranitar and does a lot of damage to Excadrill and then Terra Starstorm. I honestly didn't think Excadrill was coming. And with that being said, Tyranitar, I thought, had a chance of coming. But Excadrill thought of no chance, because Corviknight stands in Excadrill's way all the time. He needed the gravity, which was a cool it was a cool thing. Never really, it never mattered. But it was a cool thing. And then Rapid Spin, get rid of hazards. Mew learns all the hazards, and uh, he had a lot of hazards on some other guys. Like Spidops learns three of them. Yeah. Mew learns three of them, Spidops learns three of them. Some of the things can send them to Ranatar, but that's fine. We are max special attack. Modest has said that. The speed there, we might have outsped. I gotta check. If I had enough speed to outspeed Iron Valiant, we just tear a Star Storm it, and honestly, I don't think it survives. Um, so if we just stayed in on that turn, we would have been fine. I think we might have been faster, but uh, we didn't stay in. And we would have lived in Moonblast too. But we didn't stay in, so very good on that. Senchisinta is meant to stand in the way of Iron Valiant. Um, it did not have Poison Jab. It was just pure special. Keyberry means we can take Poison Jab from either Iron Valiant, or we can take a Gunk Shot from Swalot, get our defense boost up, and then all of a sudden it can't two-shot us. And Wish and Protect is there. Psychic was purely for Swalot. That's it. Yeah, otherwise, Swalot really walls us if we don't have Psychic. I wanted something else. Didn't want to run Psychic. If I was Calm Mind, that would have been pretty cool. Um, but it wouldn't have worked anyway, because Exegio was around. But we are max HP. We have a decent amount, of, a good amount of special attack with Modest. Uh, and some good... Uh, the defense allows me to take gunk shots and poison jabs from Iron Valiant. And then special defense and a little bit of speed, because we're not that slow. 60 speed, and we wanted to make sure that we didn't get speed creeped. Um... 
Boy Bay's all the Hydrapple. Hydrapple is really cool. I like this Pokemon. I think it's Fickle Beam. It's really cool and um, it's bulky. I like this thing. I like this thing a lot. Rocky Helmet. Uh, almost max HP. He's barely not. And with a lot of defense. Let go. Let go. Jesus Christ. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of defense, a good amount of special attack, and some a little bit of special defense. We have, uh, I think we have just like 12 or something in speed. Again, it's a speed creep thing. No, we don't have any speed. We might not have any speed because we might be too slow. But I thought that Fickle Beam, Hydro Pump, and Giga Drain was enough coverage for everything, so I fit Yawn in there. Which, we don't have any hazards, but it prevents things from setting up, and also prevents Iron Valiant from staying in and allowing us to Fickle Beam and Electrode and one-shotting it when we go all out for that attack. Giga Drain helps us uh, with longevity. Um, it was pretty good. Two shots Iron Valiant, as you saw. Hydro Pump was for Moltres. I really thought Moltres was coming. I thought Moltres had a beautiful matchup against me because that, uh, anything that resisted flying was weak to fire, which was Corviknight. Uh, Corviknight was weak to fire, and sorry, um, Bronzong can, is not weak to fire if it's heatproof. So I almost brought Bronzong just to kind of handle Moltres a little bit better, but I'm surprised it didn't bring any. brought the sand, which, I didn't think sand was coming, I thought other things were coming. That's fine. So Hydro Pump is for Moltres, like I said. Fickle Beam is really cool. I love Fickle Beam. I really like Dragon Pulse too, but I think I might like Fickle Beam better, but no, I don't actually. I don't like Fickle Beam better. But I really like the aesthetic of all the Hydra heads coming out, blasting, whatever. And that's the second time now. That's really good stuff. It's really cool. Electrode did not appreciate it. Tenno Beta would be a salt vest. Um, this was just for Electrode. <laughs> Add max HP and all the special defense with modest and a lot of special attack. We don't really have anything in anything else. Maybe a little bit in speed, but I don't think so. Sap Sipper. Terra Ice Electrode does not three shot us. It is a four hit KO against Tano Beta. We just stand there in front of Electrode. It can't do anything against us. Uh, and if it's Terra Ice, we can flamethrower it. If it's Terra Fairy, we can sludge wave it. And if it's Terra Dragon, we can Dragon Pulse it. If it's not any of those, it can't hit us super effectively, which means we can stand in front of it all day long and just hit it with Surf or anything, depending on whatever his Terra type is. So, yeah, Guja's really good because I've said this before in other videos, but it hits whatever. It has coverage for all three of its weaknesses. It obviously has dragon coverage and poison and fire coverage, so. Um. Not a lot of dragons can say that they can learn Sludge Wave, I don't think, but the fact that Gudra does is really good. I think Sludge Wave is amazing for it. And Sludge Bomb as well, but I ran Sludge Wave this time just for maximum damage against Iron Valiant. Um, most of the time I prefer Sludge Bomb. But that's a ton of beta we can stand in front of Excadro, like I said. Or not Excadro, sorry. Um, Electro. And then Entei. This last pick was really weird. I considered Chinchino for a long time. I actually had an Assault Vest Chinchino, but I wanted the Assault Vest to turn beta eventually. But Expert Belt Entei means, um... We can put in a lot some pressure at the beginning, at, the, at any point of the game, pretty much. We chose the beginning of the game. It wasn't sold on my lead, but we chose the beginning of the game. We have a lot of attack. Almost max attack, but we are barely not. Because the HP, that means we can go over 200 HP, and for over 200 HP, that means we can... That's... Moves like Nightshade from Houndstone, and uh, just Stealth Rock damage, means we don't die from 
If we're 201 HP, which I think we were at level 50, then that means we can survive going in against Stealth Rocks four times if we've taken no damage from anything else, which is not likely, but, you know, it doesn't matter. That's the reason why I gave a little bit of attack off and put it in an HP. Uh, and, and enough speed out speed is Moltres. I did not bother speed tying with Mew or both 100. We have Stone Edge for Moltres, we have Iron Head for um, Tyranitar, and Extreme Speed uh, finishing off Iron Valiant and, in case of an emergency, Mew. And then Sacred Fire is a really good move. 50% burn is really good. Also, 100 base power is a very strong move that I do appreciate a lot. And then, um, Inner Focus instead of Pressure, just, you know, both of the abilities not that good. But that's gonna be the team we're gonna win to while we move to 4 0. Um, that's really good. King, so King Sosa is always. It's, it's always a fun battle. I, I've never. I don't. I don't think I've ever seen a battle that wasn't fun. Um, against him, at least from my point of view, all my battles with him were all fun. But that's gonna be it for me. Uh, 4-0 is extremely strong, especially in a seven-week season. Um, there's only three weeks left. Wait. Yeah, there's only three weeks left, so that means we pretty much are going to playoffs. I think. Usually, four or three, even if we lose the last three games. I think we're going to playoffs. <laughs> Um, but staying on the top, top spot is definitely valuable, because in, in this league, whoever's on the top spot in either, in both of the divisions, does not play the first round of playoffs, they immediately move forward. So that'll be really good. <clears throat> but that's going to be it for me. Um, thank you for watching and listening. Smell you later.